اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وحمد اللہ تمہیدا سمیت موان عزیدا قل لا انہو کان لی آیاتنا عنیدا سارحکو سعودا ان فقر و قدر فقتل قیف قدر سم و نظر سم ابا سبب سب صدق اللہ العلی العظیم Revision of excretory system is essentially important, especially nephrons, cortex, medulla, renal pelvis, way of urine flow, how the kidneys enters into ureter, ureter opens into urinary bladder, urinary bladder opens into urethra, urethra opens to outside by urethral orifice. The revision lecture number 11 for the 10th grade and now you are watching once again that the diagram which you was watching earlier about the dialysis the two type of dialysis dialysis one is a peritoneal dialysis and one is the hemodialysis hemodialysis this is the hemodialysis which dialysis is being used in pakistan i am recalling your previous knowledge hemodialysis is being used that what will happen you will remove the blood from the forelimb subclavian artery look here you are taking the blood from here green colors uh, pointer i am using okay it is entering into a machine you are watching that machine is dialyzer dialyzing machine and then what will happen you are getting the blood from the forelimb and that blood is going into this machine and significant factor is that this machine that is visible dialyzing machine this is a dialyzing machine these are the tubes these are the tubes inside the tube the blood will go and the spaces between the tubes dialyzing fluid will be already present and dialyzing fluid has the capacity has the adhering chemicals which can absorb the nitrogenous waste component the urea from the blood and they will absorb from high concentration to low concentration due to concentration gradient way of the flow you are watching i can show you once again the blood is coming out from the forearm from the artery it is entering into this machine and then it will enter into this machine dialyzing machine which already consists of the fluid white color spaces are showing that is dialyzing fluid this dialyzing fluid will able to remove the urine from the blood which is our main task because we want to remove urine from the blood because kidneys are not properly working you have to remove the urine from the blood so what will happen these spaces will absorb the urine from high concentration to low concentration and remaining pure filtered blood by pure filtered blood because that is without nitrogenous waste component without urine that will enter once again into the forearm but not into artery now you will have to enter into the vein because that vein subclavian vein will move to this is question sir why you are entering the blood once again into the vein because you should uh, supply to artery so artery i should this is a this is the place i am talking about this is the place i am talking about artery this is the vein when it will move into the body, it will go into the vein, not into artery. Reason because this is a filtered blood. The body need filtered blood. The body need clean blood without urine, without urea. Because body already in trouble because urea was gathered. And any time the coma can be caused and nervous system can stop the working. Better to supply the blood to heart because heart will pump the blood because it will go to subclavian vein, it will go to inferior vena cava, urea remember superior vena cava inferior vena cava which enter into right atrium right atrium enters into right ventricle right ventricle uh, right ventricle pumps the blood to the lungs the, from the lungs the pulmonary vein will come to the left atrium the atrium goes to left ventricle through the bicuspid valve the ventricle will opens to aorta and this urinated without urinated blood without urea be supplied to all parts of the body and coma can be saved the disease can be saved the nervous disorder can be saved by this way now another type of dialyzing dialyzing which is not being used in pakistan because you know when you will enter the dialyzing fluid into peritoneal cavity might be little errors i am revising the knowledge previous knowledge because you know uh, you was reading uh, in the last lectures this one 
so essential to revise these uh, essential things about excretory system what is happening the peritoneal cavity the peritoneal cavity mean abdominal cavity and how you are entering the urine from which place you are entering now you are entering dialyzing fluid here you are entering dialyzing fluid green color pointer showing that it is going now i can show you once again this is the tube which is entering into dialyzing fluid into peritoneal cavity this is the peritoneal cavity i should finish and i should show peritoneal cavity this is the peritoneal cavity just hold on i am i am showing i am showing hold on this is the peritoneal cavity you got the idea this is the peritoneal cavity or abdominal cavity and abdominal cavity peritoneal cavity important now importance of peritoneal cavity because here if you will see here are some areas visible green pointer once again you will see you are following the green pointer these are the inner lining of abdominal cavity inner layer and epithelial layer of abdominal cavity in the epithelial layer the inner lining of uh, inner lining of abdomen inner lining inner epithelial layer of abdominal cavity or the peritoneal cavity advantage of this line is that it consists of the capillaries and capillaries i was telling you the only blood vessel which consists of the pores through which the urine what is the concept now if you will see the green pointer you will understand from where the urea will come and and where the urea will go look here the capillary will get the urea from here like uh, i am indicating now by the pointer urea will f get the uh, urea will form i just uh, i have to highlight just hold on yes now you are watching urea will enter from these capillaries from this area from this area goes to this area you got the idea so why it is going this is a question because dialyzing fluid blue color dialyzing fluid dialyzing fluid as i already told you it has less concentration of urine when anything has less concentration of the urine the everything flow from the high concentration to low concentration and it will flow from the high concentration to low concentration and dialyzing fluid will be full up with the urine when it will be full up with the urine you will remove the dialyzing fluid that is the precautionary measurements you have to follow if we are unable to remove this dialyzing fluid outside the body properly what will happen this dialyzing fluid we are unable to remove properly this dialyzing some part of dialyzing fluid may remain inside body when it may remain inside the body that is injurious to the patient therefore because the urea is there extra urea concentration which may remain in abdominal cavity so it is quite sensitive method so not properly if you are not expert if you, the nephrologist is not properly expert i don't recommend this uh, this type of procedure uh, even uh, in, in uh, the top doctors and even in pakistan this uh, the, uh, this procedure is not being adopted so which uh, di dialyzing machine is being used that is the hemodialysis you are just removing the removing the blood from the body this is quite safe for the patient because peritoneal you are entering the you know it's very difficult that if some urea will remain in abdominal cavity so another surgical surgical procedure you will do and you will consume more time and the patient's time is very critical when kidneys are not working one point i did not tell you in the last sessions is that end stage renal disease when completely kidneys are not working then dialysis is not the solution dialyzing machine machines are not the solution then what is the solution then what is the solution the solution is to change the kidney mean that uh, transplanting the organs transplantation of the kidney that is another field in senior classes i will tell you that the chemistry of the donor and the receiver must be matched and what are the precautionary uh, uh, steps you take for transplanting organs from the one patient to Uh, from healthy person to the patient from not from the patient because patient kidneys are not working how you will transplant that organ so now go back to some things which i want to show you this was the some detail end stage renal disease the point i was talking about i am just revising those points which we have already studied we'll go back to another slide that was a dialyzing machine hemodialysis i was discussing just moment before now the renal failure two type of where it is written in your book you can see the peritoneal dialyzing peritoneal dialysis which is not being used 
which is not being used in uh, in in Pakistan. In Pakistan, the hemodialyzer will be used. Hemodialyzer is quite good in the sense because you are just removing the blood from the body. You are entering into dialyzer, and you are just filtering the blood, removing the urine from the blood to the dialyzing dialyzing fluid, which is which is uh, which is able to attract uh, the the factors are important two factors which i will share now one factor is that the concentration gradient the concentration gradient the difference between high concentration and the low concentration is called the concentration gradient everything flow from high concentration to low concentration and as the urine is more in the blood so it will flow from the high concentration to low concentration similarly when uh, you are talking about uh, dialyzing because if you have some chemicals which are polar because if you see the formula of the urea C double bond O NH2 NH2 polar bond polarity NH NH2 polar bonds NH NH2 polar bond on the left side the C double bond O one polar bond on the middle side the total uh, these polarities will will attract with any polar molecule which is present in the dialyzing machine so you can use this one now go back to another slide which i just want to show you just hold on i want to go another slide now so this is the yes i wanted to show this diagram again because this need revision and senior classes when you will be there i will start uh, revising these concepts again and again now i have to highlight everything once again in less time i will try to explain okay uh, no this position is not good so positioning of diagram must be at the center yes now i think it's okay now yes it's okay now you are watching now so this is the bowman capsule bowman capsule and the glomerulus by which the bowman's filtrate bowman's filtrate from where the bowman filtrate enters into the renal tubules these are the renal tubules and the uh, Bowman's capsule absorb the nitrogenous waste component, which is our target. But unfortunately, here the nitrogenous waste component is absorbed. But problem is that during absorption, some useful components enters into renal tubules. So renal tubules length will decide that how you will reabsorb water and glucose, not glucose and water only. Here water and glucose return, not the water and glucose only, maybe amino acid, maybe glucose, maybe fatty acids, maybe glycerols, because all the particles in the blood, so you have to reabsorb those particles. You will absorb from the first part of the renal tubule, you will absorb. This is the first part of the renal tubule, which is the proximal part, visible to you. Proximal part, the proximal part, the first part of the renal tubule, and that will absorb the, the uh, digested products which are being digested. But unfortunately, they enter into renal tubules, and unfortunately, when they will be part of the renal tubules, they may move out with the urine, and that will really harm the patient because if the useful things will come out of the body, which produce energy, which are the parts of metabolism, which are parts of respiration they will damage the they will damage the person therefore better that these things must be not better these are much much essential phenomena to absorb the digested product from the proximal part this is the part twisted part you will identify the proximal part a twist a little twist is shown here but uh, technically there are more twists if you see original uh, original figures look here this is a this is a first twist the proximal part where the useful now come back to important handless loop descending handless loop ascending handless loop watching the tube which is moving down the ascending descending handless loop and the ascending handless loop so what will happen in the descending handless loop the descending handless loop with the water will be absorbed once again water will be absorbed once again water will be reabsorbed mean that water will go out into the capillary which are surrounding you know peritubular capillaries i was discussing uh, in the sessions that these capillaries which are surrounding blue color visible to you uh, at the handless loop this is the handless loop basically here they may be called vasorecta in senior classes but you will say that the, these are the peritubular capillaries the major objective of the peritubular capillary is to absorb the water and digested food because that is moving out of the body and you will absorb the water from here from descending and this loop to the capillary 
descending and this loop to the capillary you will absorb when it will be absorbed so definitely water will be near required in the body during a hypertonic if there that is hypertonic condition depending upon the nature because you know uh, water will absorb accordingly to maintain the balance may be absorbed may not be absorbed according to condition but will be absorbed because normally water is required this slope is important ascending ascending annular slope that absorb sodium ion i was naming two hormones you remember aldosterone and anti diuretic hormone chavash anti diuretic hormone aldosterone is endocrine hormone it will absorb the sodium ion from the ascending annular loop and sodium ions is essential because all salts Uh, neuron function the muscle function depending upon the sodium and the potassium ions when you will study the function of the neuron in second year you will be astonished without sodium and potassium your nervous system is unable to convey the message that message mean nerve impulse will not be transported in the neuron without sodium potassium ions because there are pumps situated in the neuron go back this is the last part so last part actually i wanted to tell you but diagram is not clear here uh, figure is not clear from i took from your textbook this third part is twisted once again the twist are shown less they are twisted more that is clear identification when you are actually watching the nephron the third part which is the distal part and distal part once again the water will be absorbed this uh, this is the collecting duct collecting duct is not uh, uh, receiving one nephron it is receiving many nephrons and all nephrons not all nephrons some nephrons open into collecting duct to so other nephrons open into another collecting duct and similarly another group of the nephron will open into another co collecting duct so collecting duct will receive many nephrons not all because there are many collecting ducts as well so this is the area in which one nephron will enter look here just told us this is the area in which the one nephron will enter this is the area another nephron will enter this is the area in which another nephron will enter so by entering these areas collecting duct it will enter into the papillary ducts papillary ducts goes into the cavity of the kidney renal pelvis goes into ureter ureter goes to urinary bladder and urinary bladder goes to urethra urethra opens to urethral orifice go back to another slide i want to show collecting duct uh, receiving nephrons yes the point i already told you papillary duct stones the major stones in the kidney calcium oxalate how they are removed by extra corporeal shocks the difficult word x rays moving out by a machine the laser machine will pass the skin will break the stones into pieces and those pieces can be removed easily by drinking plenty of water the better you drink plenty of water without stone yaar calcium oxalate you know calcium present in all almost all foods maximum foods in the milk etc oxalate vegetarian if you are vegetarian i myself uh, little eat vegetables little more but uh, oxalate uh, present in the tomato and oxalate combined with calcium oxalate alone is not harmful so you should not worry you can eat vegetables but oxalate when combined with calcium question is when calcium combined with oxalate it will combine only when calcium abnormality will be there so when calcium abnormality will take place when two hormones will be defective which hormones endocrine hormones which go by by blood which transport by blood those endocrine hormones definition of endocrine hormones calcitonin and the parathormone they work against each other that is the fight going on between these two hormones sometime during this fight over body suffer because the imbalance is being created between these two and they are always enemy and i will tell you in the chapter of nervous system about this one so this is the figure i have all once again i have to tell you okay yes bowman's capsule proximal part descending hanley's loop ascending hanley's loop distal part collecting duct go to next one go to next one and end stage in disease end stage in ill disease now uh, you know you have little confusion because you will say sir two figures are exactly antagonistic they are not matching each other yes yes because in one fig in one uh, figure he shows collecting duct i am showing collecting duct in this direction mean left side and in first diagram the collecting duct was at right direction here little a bit black color the bowman's capsule glomerulus is clearly visible and these two these two are main actors of the nephron efferent a double f e r e n t 
if in and these two words you will remember because I am going to discuss in senior classes more and more because if in and if in and very technical because they are the basically the procedures to remove the nitrogenous waste component from the blood. So uh, I hope you will revi revise excretion excretory system as much as possible. Thank you.